Okay, so rooting is basically the process of gaining administrative rights on an Android device, similar to jailbreaking an iPhone. Um, it allows you to do a lot of other stuff. You can load custom ROMs, which is different versions of the operating system with different UI skins and newer versions of Android, etc. Um, you can have a custom recovery, you can do backups, you can remove bloatware and a bunch of other fun stuff. So today, I'm going to show you how to gain root access or root your HTC One M8. Okay, before we begin, uh, this should work on all the models of the HTC One M8, including the ATT, T-Mobile, Verizon, Sprint, and probably international models as well. Uh, make sure that your battery is over 75% charged, just to make sure it doesn't die unexpectedly in the middle of this. Um, this process may void all or parts of your warranty according to HTC, although I have done a rooting procedure before and a button broke on my HTC, and I've sent that in, and they still repaired it, because clearly rooting has nothing to do with a button breaking. Um, but, disclaimer, just in case. Um, this will erase all the information on your device, so make sure that there's anything you want to keep, you back it up to your computer before you begin. Um, also, because this toolkit that we're using only works for the PC, this procedure, of course, will only work for the PC. Here, real quick on your device, you're going to pull down the notification, go to settings, go to battery manager, scroll all the way to the bottom, and we're going to turn off fast boot. Now, basically, fast boot. Um, stops the device from turning off entirely um, so that it boots up and shuts down faster, but we want it to actually be able to shut all the way off, so make sure that is not checked. Okay, then in the developers page here, and scroll down, and you'll see the latest version of the kit. Click on that. Wait for it to download and save it to your desktop. While that's downloading, you're gonna also go to WinRAR, if you don't already have it, obviously, um, and download the one for your version of Windows, whether it's 64-bit or 32. And also save that to your desktop. And we are, we're actually going to open. And go through the process of installing that. And this is just so that we can open uh, .rar files. And hit done. And you can close that. You can delete that. And then wait for the toolkit to download. Okay, then we can right click the kit and hit extract. And wait for that to extract. Once it does, you should have a folder and another folder inside that. You're going to double click the .exe, hit more info, more info and hit run anyway if you need to. And now you're presented with the toolkit. Okay, next we're going to click the first thing in the toolkit, which is download the drivers and hit go. Hit OK. Hit Save. Wait for that to download. Once it's done, hit run. Hit yes. And wait for it to install the drivers. Okay, once you've got the drivers, we're gonna click Registered HCC Dev. Hit go. Um, and fill out this form and make sure that you put an email address that is a real email address because it's going to ask you to confirm your account. You're going to do all that and then um, go on to the next step to continue. Okay, now on the device, you're going to pull down the notification. Shade, hit settings. Scroll down to developer options. If you don't have that, you can go to about, software information, and keep tapping on build number until it tells you you're a developer. Then go to developer options, scroll down, we're gonna turn USB debugging on, hit OK. Then you're gonna plug your device in via USB to your computer. Then when this pops up on your phone, hit always allow from this computer and hit OK. 
Okay, now in the toolkit with your device plugged in, click on Get Token ID, hit Go, hit OK. And eventually you'll see your device's screen look like this. When that happens, close the first command prompt and you should see this second one underneath. And we're going to right click and hit mark. And then try and highlight all of this from the beginning of identifier token start to identifier token end. And control C to copy and open up whatever text editor you use and control V to paste it. Okay, now with that saved somewhere, we're gonna hit submit token ID and hit go. Hit okay. And then it's gonna take you to the HTC dev uh, site. You're gonna log in with what you registered with earlier. Okay, then you're gonna go to the unlock bootloader option, hit get started. Then select your device from the drop down. hit begin unlock, hit yes. Check off both of the things, hit yes. And then you're just gonna scroll down the bottom because we've done all this and hit proceed to step five. And then scroll down again because we've done all this and at the very bottom, you'll see my device identifier token. We're going to control V and paste our token in there and hit submit. Then you're just gonna wait for the email with the unlock key attached. Okay, after you get that email, um, you're gonna download the unlock code.bin file that's attached to it. And we're just gonna save that to our desktop. Then we're gonna click on unlock bootloader, hit go, hit okay. Um, then go to your desktop and find that file, click it, hit open, um, your device, then uh, hopefully it was still plugged in and still in fast boot USB mode um, when you did all that, and then you'll see this. So you're going to press volume up to select yes, and hit power to select it, and the device will reboot. Um, you can just kind of skip through all of this stuff. And once you get to the home screen, you're gonna pull down the top here. We're gonna tap settings again. And scroll all the way down to about software information. Oops. More, build number, keep tapping it until it says your developer, then go back, back, back. Developer options. Hit OK. Going to turn on USB debugging again and hit OK. And then if this pops up again, say always allow from this computer and hit OK. And once that's done, it'll say that it's done, hit OK. And now you have an unlocked bootloader. So next, we're gonna flash a custom recovery. If you have the Sprint model, um, do that one. If you don't, you can do this one. So we're gonna click that. Um, it's gonna make sure that we have USB debugging enabled, but we did. We're gonna click OK. The first command prompt will boot our device into fast boot like normal. And then we're gonna close that. And the second one will actually flash the recovery. And once it says finish, you can close that as well. Once it says that it's flashed, we're going to hit, go use the power button, or excuse me, the volume buttons to highlight reboot and then hit power to select it and wait for the device to reboot into normal Android. Okay, after that, we're going to, uh, with the device still plugged in and now in regular Android mode, you're gonna hit click on perm root under extras, hit run. Um, it's gonna say that it's gonna push stuff. Hit okay. Close the first command prompt. And the second one will reboot the device. Which will then boot you into recovery mode where you will then tap install. And we're gonna look for super su.zip and hit swipe that to confirm and wait for that to flash. 
Once that's done, we're going to reboot into system. And then you should see in your app drawer now, super SU and tap that. And if it opens and there's no issue, um, you now should be rooted, have a custom recovery so you can flash ROMs and all that other fun stuff um, and um, be all set to go. Enjoy. And there you go. Now you're all set. You have a custom recovery, you have root access, um, and you can begin doing things like loading custom ROMs. Um, if you are curious about which custom ROM to load, you can head to the site um, by the link below uh, and check out our ROM repository where we actually have a bunch of ROMs that we found on the internet um, and we've kind of put them all in one place for you sorted by device. So enjoy and thanks for watching.